quadratic inequality. In this new topic, we will be dealing with quadratic inequalities. We will recall the inequality symbol and the meaning of each symbol that we have learned before. These are the inequality symbols. This is greater than. Next, less than. Greater than or equal to. Less than or equal to. Not equal to. Now let's define quadratic inequality. Quadratic inequality is an equality that contains a polynomial of the second degree. Quadratic inequalities are inequalities which can be written in the general form. ax squared plus bx plus c is greater than zero. Or ax squared plus bx plus c is less than zero. Another way of writing is ax squared plus bx plus c is greater than or equal to zero. Or it could be ax squared plus bx plus c is less than or equal to zero. Where a, b, c are real numbers and a must not be equal to zero. And remember, a solution of a quadratic inequality in x is any set of values of x for which the inequality is true. Examples Direction Determine the following given if it is a quadratic inequality or not. Number 1 x squared minus 5x plus 6 greater than 0 this is a quadratic inequality. Since the given is using an inequality symbol greater than, and at the same time, the highest degree of this polynomial is 2. Number 2. x minus 10 is less than or equal to 0. This is not a quadratic inequality. Though the given is using an inequality symbol less than or equal to, but the highest degree of this polynomial is only 1. Remember, it must be 2. Number 3. x squared minus 64 equals 0. This is not a quadratic inequality. Though the highest degree of this polynomial is 2, but it uses an equal symbol that makes it not a quadratic inequality. Number 4. Quantity x plus 5 times quantity x minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. This is an example of a quadratic inequality since the given is using an inequality symbol less than or equal to and at the same time, when you simplify quantity x plus 5 times quantity x minus 6, the result will be x squared minus x minus 30 so that it gives us the highest degree of this polynomial, which is 2.